hold a candlelight vigil and march in West Hollywood tonight in response to the Supreme Court decision. KCAL 9's Nicole Comstock continues our team coverage live from West Hollywood. Nicole. And one West Hollywood was the first city in the nation to declare itself pro-abortion rights. That was all the way back in 1993. So a lot of people who came out to this vigil tonight said they felt like they were waking up in the past today. And now they fear that more rights could be on the chopping block. The United States Supreme Court should be ashamed of itself. Yeah. Yeah. June 24th, 2022. Reproductive rights are LGBTQ rights. Yeah. It's a momentous night in American history. And for those who gathered for a candlelight vigil at West Hollywood Park, they'll always remember it as the night they stood up for women's reproductive rights. And if people are so blind to think that they are going to stop here, they're out of their mind. Because there's a very real concern here. I cannot imagine that these kids are going to grow up without having the right to decide what they're going to do with their own body. That the rights of those in the LGBTQIA plus community, like same-sex marriage, could be reversed next. I don't know if in the short term that will be successful, but I absolutely think that there will be very real and vigorous challenges. Law professor Jessica Levinson says even though the majority in the Supreme Court says the overturning of Roe versus Wade is just about abortion and urged Americans not to worry about other rights that are protected by the Constitution, but not specifically written into the Constitution. If you look at the logic behind the court's opinion, the fact that the problem here, according to the majority, is that the right to obtain an abortion is not written in the Constitution, that the right to obtain an abortion is not in our nation's deeply rooted history and tradition, then I think a conservative court that wants to go there could say the same is true of gay marriage, the same is true potentially of the right to obtain contraception. The Supreme Court has proven who they are. So when they show you who they are, believe it. Currently, just one out of nine justices, Clarence Thomas, has called to reconsider Americans' rights to marriage equality and contraception. This is extreme and dangerous path the court is now taking us on. But the president and many others across the country worry that the majority opinion on those rights could change. Well, this event ended with a march to Planned Parenthood and then back here to the park. Organizers are calling on the president and other elected leaders to do more to protect abortion rights. Reporting live in West Hollywood, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News. Nicole, thank you.